Hi guys, Chris here with Super Semi Travelers. Hey, we are in Rome and we're staying very close to the Campo dei Fiori. Today we went out and about and we looked at some street food. In fact, I bought a little piece of pizza at this place. And then I bought some stuff at the market and some stuff at the supermarket. Came home, made a beautiful dish. Super fresh, super delicious, and super easy. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, we're here in our B&B and we just went um, to, um, you know, the local supermarket because it's Sunday night. And I got a few things to cook, and I got this, um, it looks like it's, uh, cubetti, but it's, they're already cooked, so I don't know. It's kind of like ham. I didn't know it was that. I thought it was, uh, pancetta. Anyway, it's not. Um, at the market today, I got this amazing, uh, pecorino romano. It doesn't grate, as you can see, so what I did is I just shaved it with the, with the knife. And then I got some prosciutto, packaged prosciutto, and I'm just going to put all these things together and see how it is. I've got garlic, I also have some, a couple of tomatoes. I'm just gonna make a really nice light tomato-y sauce um, and it's gonna be delicious. So, first night in Rome. Oh, I got the um, panchetto or whatever it is, <laughs> cooking. It looks like ham, it looks like we're gonna have a ham pasta today. And a little bit of garlic, cook it away. Gonna put in my noodles in a bit and I got some tomatoes. I'm gonna do that. Um, of course, this beautiful pecorino cheese that I got, honestly, if you taste it, the guy knew what he was doing because he gave me a little chunk in the piazza and I just went back and he gave me a big chunk of that. I need, I need to have that in my life right now. So that's uh, so I got it and we're going to put it in the, in the pasta and it's going to be delicious. Okay, I added the tomatoes. Of course, uh, you know, we're in a and b and we don't have all the tools we're used to. I turned down the heat because I don't want to um, cook the garlic too much. Uh, a confession, Pete and I have been studying a cooking class that we found through the Great Courses. Honestly, we're addicted to the Great Courses. And this um, is an amazing class. I'll put something in the description to let you know what it is and where you can go get it. But it's really nice. It just fills in all the holes of cooking that, that you don't know. Like I had trouble cooking meat. I didn't know how to tell when it was done or not. And uh, all these other things, you know, what is this and what is that? So they could have a nice baseline level so I could actually do cooking videos without embarrassing myself to you guys. And, uh, you know, go through some of the local recipes and some of the things you can make while you're here. So um, that's full disclosure. I haven't finished the course yet, but we're still working on it. And uh, here we are. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to do is take a little bit of this pasta water and add it to my sauce because um, it'll make a nice little velvety sauce and it adds a little more liquid so that when you uh, when you drain off the um, pasta it's not super dry you don't have to put too much oil make it all greasy so i think i'm going to put two spoonfuls and let that simmer down a little bit and it'll be ready very soon okay i went and cooked down a lot of that and um i think i'm cook it down just a little tiny bit more and then i'm going to add the pasta Okay, I got my pasta pot here. Let's see if I can do this while filming. I'm just gonna put that in here. All of it, all of it, get in there. Look, look at this guy, help. Get in there. Okay, I'll add him later. <laughs> okay, mix it all around, looks delish, looks delish. Now I have to say, I love this B&B because we've got this cute little kitchen here. It's a very modern kitchen, very nice. Oh, this is looking good. This is just enough stuff. I don't like, you know, I don't like gobs of um, sauce on mine. I just like a light coating because, you know, with these cute tortellinis and stuff, they, they taste good almost on their own. But look at this kitchen. So here we are in the Centro Storico. And then we got this window here to let all the fumes. And it goes out into the Centro Storico, which is really, really nice. So I'm going to plate these up. I also bought a piece of pizza at the street food place. We're going to do a whole nother thing on Italian street food because it's all over the area here in Rome. But I'll plate these up and let you see what it looks like. Okay, so I put a little bit of this beautiful, beautiful Parmesan cheese that we got at the market on top. And I'll give it to Pete and see what he thinks. Oh, okay, so I finished it up and I plated it. These are little um, pizza sticks that I just uh, cut up the pizza that we bought at the street food place. And uh, these are tortellini, super simple, super easy to make. And here in Rome, where everything's so fresh and delicious, you can make it really fast and you don't have to go out to eat if you don't feel like it. Enjoy, sweetie. Yeah, thank you.